is my boy. And I'm so from the scene, I know you don't know me, but I'm a PM player mm -hmm. pretty much exclusively. I'm pretty confident that if we actually sat down and kept having monthlies and did a PR, I could probably bust in the top 10. Okay. Like, I've had pretty close sets with all the top players around here. Um, I've, won, I've won sets against probably seven of the guys who you would consider to be top 10 okay. in the game right now. DLA and I always play super close. He, he doesn't play Diddy against me anymore. Hmm. He just plays Ganon because, well, it's Squirtle. Right. So, also, shout out to Dirt Boy. <laughs> Dirt Boy. Your boy up in Michigan. The <laughs> uh, best, yes. the world's best Squirtle. I've learned so much from just watching that man. Man, I remember seeing him like at West Michigan tournaments when I was just starting to get in the PM. So young, so green, but then he just turned into a monster. <laughs> yeah, he he what he has the best edge guarding I've ever seen with that character. Right. And that's really what makes him great. Because if he gets you off stage, you are not coming back. And it's Honestly, it's just savage. I'm really good with the aerials on stage. Mm -hmm. um, he's also very good at zoning with, like, he'll do shell shift, short hop, and, like, neutral B and zone people out sometimes. And it's just little things like that that I would never even have thought to do. But All right, so DLA going to bust out the Ganon. Oh no boy. surprise there. <laughs> Happy to see he's still staying true to Ganondorf. I respect that. Now, who is his opponent? Uh, I do not know who Jerk is. I think Okay, so Jerk, I believe, is newer to the scene. Okay. Um, so we're going to find out. He's got a zero suit, and we're going to Nairo Field. So <laughs> Nairo Field. Not 100% sure uh, what we're going to see at the moment. Always fun to see a Ganon. Yes. Uh, DLA, very fundamentally sound player across all Smash games. Yes, definitely. Oh, trying to go for that cheese quite early. <laughs> Might as well. Ganon went low. It's true. I thought he had it for a second. It looked like it. That would have been one hell of a way to start your event. <laughs> So we're seeing, oh, there we go. Starting off with the side B, getting the down tilt. Grabs wow. him out of that. That was impressive. <laughs> he grabbed him out of it because he tried to hover along the ground. True. And we're seeing DLA playing pretty patient, just trying to get a feel for Jerk's um, habits and whatnot. Yeah, Jerk is actually looking pretty good so far. He hit some good grabs. He's been converting off of his small punishes. He's not doing anything crazy. No. He's just being super conservative. And you can do that against Ganon because Ganon has no real way to approach. Nice clean string there. Yeah, just make sure that the up B hits. Oh. That doesn't have to be your kill option until higher percentages. Now, usually when you see newer wow. ZSSs, you see them playing like pretty fast and loose, honestly. But it is refreshing to see that you know he's taking his time. Both players are definitely feeling each other out right now. Oh, clean forward air. That's what happens when you miss a grab. <laughs> Another side B. Surprised to not see DLA going for the uh, the down tilts out of that side B. Right. Another Ooh. forward air. See, oh. that's, that's what DLA knows how to do so well yes. as a Smash player. Is he will he'll learn your tendencies quickly and punish them. And that's what made him a pretty scary player consistently across three different games now. <laughs> I didn't even know that he played Smash 4 until I uh, came here. <laughs> he showed up at a weekly one time and was just like, I could do this. <laughs> Instead, he just kept playing, I guess. Good falling up air. That was very nice placement. Great use of the hitbox. Interesting. I was expecting a grab there. Oh, tries to get the down B, but unfortunately eats the, the dark dive. The DLA catching on to how to punish those jabs. Yeah, Jer Jerk started out very well. Um, not seeming to be able to get a beat on DLA, who has seemingly read everything he has done for the last stock and a half. See, the main problem Bagger here, too, is, is like, he keeps hitting his shield. Like, in the beginning, DLA wasn't really punishing those jabs and forward smashing on shield. But then once Jerk kept doing it, DLA is like, oh, this has a buttload of leg. Okay, I'm just going to grab you, or I'm going to forward air you. <laughs> the DLA, very strong showing after he a little bit of a rocky start there. Great falling up air to take first stock and the savage back air, as yes. they always are. Pretty much everything Ganon does is savage. Yes. That character is so scary. Just like four, pretty much three or four moves, and you're within kill range. But the trick is like you can't play scared against that character. So that's the tough part. How do you? You got to be able to maintain your composure without like putting yourself in harm's way with these ridiculously damaging and powerful moves. So we're going straight to Battlefield. Or not a Battlefield. I'm sorry, Smashville from Battlefield, which didn't work out well in Jerk's favor. <laughs> um, Smashville, kind of the local favorite stage. I don't know if that is the case in every region. 
But certainly in the Midwest, everyone seems to just default to this stage mentally. Oh, definitely the same in Michigan, I can tell you that. <laughs> Good grab by Jerk. That was Up a great air. read. Good neutral air there. Oh, and that was a great reaction there to that down B. Another grab. Here we go. All right. Jerk looking a little bit cleaner now. Yes. He's not doing anything crazy stylish. I think he also realized, too, that just hitting his shield like that so can... Oh, wow, that, that was, was dangerous. That was so ballsy. <laughs> you got a kill for it, but, man, that was... I got a little scared for him there. DLA laughing over there. That was probably a missed input. Great read. Oh, oh. I felt that down air from over here. <laughs> That's the DLA we all know and love in Chicago. It is always interesting and very satisfying to see those down airs land. I don't care who it is. <laughs> all right, so DLA with a bringing this game all the way back after that accidental missed input. I'm going to assume neutral yes. B. Oh, maybe not. He just put it out again. Now I'm starting to think he did it on purpose. Are we going for the cheese here? Oh, gets Ooh. the berry. Gets the up B, but hits him in the opposite direction. I don't think that would have killed the other way. I'm not sure either. Not unless his DI was bad, but it looked like he was ready for it. DLA tried to grab him out of... And a clean uh, back air. Okay. All right. Jerk definitely looking a lot cleaner in this game. So we're going to game three here. Samus. Zero, uh, zero Suit Samus is a pretty good character, I think. Definitely a good character. Bayonetta back air looking like Zero Suit back air. Ledge Tromp's almost identical. It's uh, like one or two frames slower. Their down tilts pretty much look and feel the exact same too. Up airs are pretty similar outside the fact that Bayonetta starts off backwards. But definitely a lot of parallels there for sure. So we're going back to Battlefield. Interesting choice. Um, I'm just waiting. I'm surprised they're allowed to go back to Battlefield. I mean, if you gentlemen's to it, you can. So I'm actually surprised you gentlemen's to it. Maybe he's just like, you know what? I did some dumb stuff game one. I know what to do now. I got this. Yeah, and Zero Suit Samus' best stage is technically Battlefield. That is kind of, that's very high-level play anyway. That is pretty pretty well-known. Although Jerk not really taking full advantage of platforms. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Ooh, hard read forward smash. Disgusting. He's DLA starting to crank it up. Get up attack. I don't think I've ever seen Zero Suit Samus's get up attack in my life <laughs> until right there. Right. Forward tilt. Definitely could have punished harder, but hey, he got another follow up for it. Now, see, this is the part where I usually like see Zero Suits chasing in the air, you know, just trying to maintain that pressure. And he's not doing, like, a really good job of, you know, just juggling him. And he could be doing better there. Up B, the level 9 CPU strat. <laughs> It works. It's a great mix-up and very powerful. Lots of damage, at least. Yep, DLA definitely catching on. Almost every time he's done a fully charged oh. airliner shot. Ooh. I thought that was going to break shield. Same. <laughs> nice B reverse there. And gets the down B. That was very clean. I like that. <laughs> Ganon living, because we are on battlefield. Biggest blast zones we have. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're going a little rogue there with that up oh, Good back air, though. No, Jerk can take the stock. He can definitely bring him back. Oh, I thought that might have been it for a minute. <laughs> At times, Jerk is showing solid flashes of knowing what he's doing, but he's thrown out some very questionable hitboxes at times. Agreed. Is this going to be it? Nah, too much rage, too much damage on Ganon. Oh, that forward air might be. Nah. Not quite. <laughs> that That's will definitely be. it. <laughs> All right, and we're Man seeing 2-1. <laughs> All right, DLA going to take that one. <laughs> that was an entertaining set for sure, though. Yeah, good stuff from Jerk taking a game off DLA, though, and what I imagine is his first largely competitive event. Mm -hmm. He's not somebody I've seen around. So that's good stuff. And it's looking like we have Hydra waiting in the wings. Okay. VH Hydra. He's a Rob slash Cloud player. Right, I've heard of him. Um, he 